Hello, my dear students. Welcome once again to Zenith Academy Online. My name is Fatima Bora. Today we are going to study poem from CBSE Class 12 book Flamingo, My Mother at 66 by Kamla Das. First of all, let's see something about the poem and the poet. Kamla Das is an Indian poetess born in Malabar, Kerala. She is recognized as one of the India's foremost poets. Her works are well known for their originality, versatility, and indigenous flavor of the soil. Means her works are bounded to the culture of India. She has published many novels and short stories in English and Malayalam under the name Madhavi Kutti. Some of her, her works include the novel Alphabet of Lust, a collection of sto short stories, Padmavati, The Harlot, and other stories, published in 1992, in addition to five books of poetry. She is a sensitive writer who captures the complex subtleties of human nature in lyrical idiom. My mother at 60 is an example of this. Now, idiom means the entire poem, the entire text is a part of one single sentence broke down or divided with commas and other punctuation marks. It doesn't have paragraphs. It is just one single thought. And most of her works are, are similar. Means she shows the complex human relationship, the subtleness of relationship between two people in her works. Let's see this poem, My Mother at Six. My dear students, let's start the poem. Driving from my parents' home to Cochin last Friday morning. Now, here she says that she has started driving from her parents' home, which she has visited, towards Cochin on Friday morning. I saw my mother beside me. Her mother was sitting beside her on the way. So she has a look towards her mother. When she sees her mother, her mother, those mouth open, her face ashen like a corpse. Now, the word doze over here says that her mother is sleeping with the mouth open, means she is in a deep sleep. Her face is ashen. Ashen here denotes pale. When you are old, means we see the old people around us, their skin loses the charm, the bright shine, and it becomes pale. So the face of her mother is also become pale like a corpse. Corpse is dead body. When we look at the dead body, the dead body does not have any glow or charm or attraction on its face. So the face of mother also has become like a ashen or become pale like that of a corpse and realized with pain that she was as old as she looked means at this particular moment the poetess realizes that yes my mother is now so old and this is the moment of realization that when she is looking so carefully towards her mother she realizes that yes my mother has become so old But soon, that thought put that thought away and looked out at young trees sprinting, merry children spilling out of their homes. Now what happens is, as soon as she realizes that her mother has become old, she feels that pain inside her. But that thought has now taken a back seat. As she looks out of the window of the car, she sees young trees Printing. Now, what does this mean? Means when we are in motion in a vehicle, we see all the trees, other vehicles moving behind us in a pattern, moving behind, sprinting behind. We leave all of it behind and we move ahead. That is what we feel when we are in a motion in a particular vehicle. So here, the poetess says that the thought of that realization is now put away by the young trees 
printing and merry children spilling out of their homes now spilling over here means merry children playing playing living playing and living joyfully also the trees sprinting here denote the time means the time passes so fast she realizes that the time has passed so fast <coughs> that the mother has now grown old so two contrast ideas are placed in these two, two line two slides where which we have seen now in the first slide the pain is felt by the daughter who sees her mother in pain and in old age and in the second slide in this video we have seen that immediately that thought takes a back seat when she sees lively young children playing and the trees sprinting and she realizes that yes the time has passed so fast the first smile the first smile denotes realization realization that yes my mom is now old and anyways even if she is old i have certain commitments and i have to part away from her the second smile over here denotes and symbolizes bravery that even though she has so much pain inside her she is feeling painful of leaving her mother of not seeing her of not taking care of her but still that smile on her face depicts bravery and the third smile is hope hope to see her mother again so in this poem the the poetess has depicted or shown the relationship between a mother and a daughter how these two individuals are bonded together yet so different from each other how this mother how this daughter feels for her mother how her thoughts are changing how she parts away how she says goodbye and how she smiles in realization showing bravery or and not tears and also having a hope of seeing her mother again now let's have a short summary of this poem so the first thing that we saw was the daughter looks at her mother so the mother was looking like pale pale like a corpse then second she looks at the sprinting trees sprinting trees here give you the image imagination of time passing by how time passes by fast in a glimpse of an eye the time passes and you outgrow or you move ahead in your life also the third thing over here is the young children young children spilling now first she looks at the old age of her mother second thought where she looks at the young children now these are two contradictory ideas also and two time differences two generation differences that she sees in her uh, imagination or thinks about and in the fourth part we see the parting away parting away of a daughter from her mother where she realizes that her mother has now become old and she smiles the second smile denotes bravery brave where she holds back her tears and she doesn't show that pain in front of her mother she smiles and third smile is hope hope to see her mother again i hope this explanation is enough for this poem and you have understood in case of any doubts or questions please leave your uh, questions in the comment section and we will surely answer them also my dear students 
have a look at this Oswal Gurukul CPSC question bank where you can solve multiple choice questions, new pattern questions, and uh, read chapter wise summary, solve previous year question papers, and this is a complete guide for self study. And this is based on the new question paper pattern and the syllabus. So please have a look at this and do buy this for self study purpose. I hope you understood this poem and liked our video. Please stay tuned on Zenith Academy online for more topics of English syllabus and do share your if you have any doubts in one particular topic and we will surely solve your queries. Have a good time.